Hello quilt artisans, my name is Shonda and welcome to my channel Under the Needle. I am here today with an unboxing. I just got my Goodies Color Club, uh, came in the mail. So I wanna go ahead and give it an open and see what we've got. So the way the subscription works, I believe it is $27.95 a month. I will put that information in the description. And uh, of course there's shipping. And then what we get each month, we get five half yards of coordinated fabric of it's not really coordinated um let me start over well not quite start over so what this is is every month uh the curator of this subscription Gudrun Erla she chooses an inspiration from nature right some type of inspiration color so it might be grass and we might get a bunch of greens um and then we get blenders that kind of go that match that um, that theme. Oh. So the theme this month is box of chocolates. So we are going to have some juicy browns here. Um, <clears throat> I don't use a whole lot of brown in my quilting, um, but I do use some. But I love to use brown for my bindings. I love dark bindings. Um, I only, I, I, I just, it's like the binding of the quilt gets touched the most. And so I, I don't want it to get dirty over time. And so I just um, like to use a dark binding. That's just my personal preference. So I'm going to open these. They are pretty. Now, of course, they're brown. So I'm not going to be as excited as if they were like purple or fuchsia or teal because then I'd be like, ooh. <clears throat> Although I will say uh, that ivory one, the, the cream colored palette that we got sometime last year, that was gorgeous. I was oohing and on over that thing. And I don't I don't even usually like cream like that. But anyway, so let me go ahead and switch the camera and show you guys these um these prints. Well not prints, but blenders. Now, one thing I do like is that this comes on a, um, like a hard, like this is hard. So it keeps everything from bending in the mail. And then this is kind of like cardstock. You could keep these. I don't. Um, but she basically tells you each, um, each, each fabric that we have and then recommends some other similar fabrics that are in that same family. So the first one is a uh, grunge bison. I love me some grunge. Okay, so um, I'm never going to be mad about any kind of grunge. I don't care what color it is because um, I'm really not a solids type person. I don't really like to quilt with solids. So I love me some grunge and other kind of blenders that are that, like that because solids just aren't my bag. Uh, the next one is just color. And the color is, of course, brown. So that's our second one. And then the third one is watercolor texture in brown. I love watercolor texture. I love this a lot. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot. I made a quilt using like a red, um, a red fabric like this. I don't remember if it was watercolor or not. I don't remember, but it was red and it was similar to this. And I, I just really like this as a blender because you get a lot of dimension. So like with the grunge, you're getting the brown, but then you're also getting kind of this other color too. And sometimes it looks gray and sometimes it looks kind of bluish depending on how the light hits. And that might work for you or it might not work for you depending on what your project is. But this right here, this is just brown. But we have some different shades of brown. So you kind of get that, that, nice, uh, that nice texture, which is why it's called watercolor texture. So really like that one. This one's color blends in warm brown. It's our fourth one. I like this one as well. And the last one, this one is ombre squares in brown. Um, this is a neat little print here. I like this. I actually, 
have a print like this. Uh, I consider this a print. So um, I know they're generally considered blenders, but to me, I almost I, I see this as like a print. Um, and I think I have like I have some other fabric like this in different colors. I don't remember what colors they are right now, but I have other fabric like this. I feel like I have purple and I feel like I have a red um, because I really like this. I really like this um, print. To me, these are blenders and to me, this is a print. Um, some people would consider this a, br a blender, but to me, it's more, it's more printish, right? So that's kind of how I look at it. So those are our fat five half yards. Like I said, $27.95 a month. Um, and we get five half yards, surprise, uh, surprise uh, inspired by nature. So here we have like representation of all the different spectrums of chocolate and brown and what that would look like. So really, really nice. This is our February selection and I am quite pleased with it, even though I'm not like the biggest brown person because these will make excellent bindings for me. And I cut my bindings at two and a quarter. So I can generally bind my quilt um, with only um, a half yard because I can get eight strips out of here. I can get eight, eight strips. So my, any standard lap size quilt um, is generally not going to need more than eight strips. And so, yeah, these will be, these might make it into my quilting. Or they might be um, bindings for me. I'm not sure yet. But they're definitely going in the stash. They're definitely going to get used eventually. So um, that's it for me. And I will see you guys uh, next video.